Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tatsu Thomas, and today I'm about to show you guys how to get your finishing badges fast on NBA 2K21. You know what I'm saying? Now, um, this strategy I've been using has been helping me get my shooting badges fast like crazy. If you guys are in a rush, skip to this timestamp if you want to. I don't care. We're right, right quick, I'm about to give you guys the best settings, the best things to use to maximize your success with these methods, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to our settings and we're gonna put this on all-star difficulty. I recommend you guys start off on all-star because you know, I want you guys to get the hang of it before you go to Hall of Fame or Superstar. Trust me, this is a really, really simple method. Some methods are easier for different builds. You'll see that when I get into the whole video part. And for the purpose of the video, I want you guys to, if you guys have any badges at all, or maybe have an upgrade, I want to show you guys what you guys should use your badge points on. You know what I'm saying? So far, I have six, and I've been doing this method. Uh, if you guys are, you know, a um, guard, I recommend you guys put on uh, consistent finisher, fancy footwork, slithery finisher, or lob city finisher. Those are if you are a guard, because you know a lot of these method requires oops, or you know you'll see it in the in the tutorial. You know what I'm saying? And uh, if you're a uh, center, I recommend you guys use lob city finisher. You know contact finisher or relentless finisher. I'm a power for it, so you guys, if you guys are a paint beast. You guys can relate to me or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But um, we're going to go ahead and get started with this video, y'all. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you're new. If you guys want more tutorials, I will be dropping badge tutorials and all this stuff like that if you guys want it. So, yeah, I got you. We're going to head over to the tutorial now. All right, guys. So, in these clips, I turn my face cam out. So, this by far is my favorite method to do. What you want to do is you want to have the ball. It doesn't matter if you're a guard, center, none of that matters, okay? The first thing I want to say is oops is your best friend, okay? Alley-oops are your best friend. Always go for alley-oops. But as you guys can see in this video, also you also can go for Euro steps because, you know, flashy dunks, flashy anything gets you, you know, the points. So my favorite method is the method I'm doing right now, as you guys can see. All you have to do is have the ball and go on any wing of the court it doesn't matter if it's the left wing the right wing it does not matter okay and what you want to do is you want to grab the ball and pass it to the point guard whoever's at the top of the key right here okay like you guys can see right here i have the ball i pass it to ray john rondo and all you want to do is call for a screen and call for the oop and bam you're going to smash it every single time this method is so consistent literally all you have to do is call for a screen off ball screen throw the oop catch bam a guard can do this any position can do this the reason i say this is my favorite method is because i'm a center and you know i'm a paint beast so yeah i mean if you're not a slasher these methods aren't really good for you to be honest because i recommend these methods are for slashers you know what i'm saying but as you guys can see right here this right here all you gotta do is call for the screen bam i leave every single time you do this all game literally i was when i was doing this i was actually having fun doing this all right so it's, it's, it's repetitive, and I also recommend you guys have playmakers on your team, people who can throw oops, people like, you know, Chris Paul or, um, you know, LeBron. Any kind of playmaker will fit this method perfectly. If you're a small guy, you guys can do this too. Um, I just can't say that the paint will always be open for you, but usually if you're a tall guy, you can always carry ham it down with this method right here. No, 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 what do you call it? Uh, no issues at all, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So we're gonna get with the next method, and I'm gonna get back with you guys with the second method. All right, guys. So for these second methods, instead of doing one by one by one by one and stretching the video out for so long, what I did with this one is I combined all of the second, third, and fourth methods together. All right. So before I even start the video, I want to tell you the best. This method right here is targeted mainly for guards and people who are fast because. Fast breaks give you a lot of rep when it comes to getting, you know, your finishing badge. You get a whole bunch of rep from getting fast breaks. And it's simple. All you have to do is not play defense. It's that simple. Your teammate the rebound, call for the ball. And I recommend doing a Euro or a floater because you get a lot of points for that too. But another thing you guys can do if you're a center, but this is probably my least favorite method, is the rap method. And basically, all you got to do is get your opponent to run into your teammate. And then sneak away, slip away from the alley oop. But that method is not really that good. But it's possible to do mainly for big men. All right. Another method you guys can do is you guys can just do the pick and roll method and um 
you know, roll to the basket and call for a oop. But every single chance you get on a fast break, do something flashy. Whether it's a contact, the contact dunks also give you a whole bunch of rep, guys. So also do those as well. Contact dunks, um, you know, floaters, euros, spins, spin lay-ins, I guess, don't really get that much. I know hops don't give you a lot of rep either. But mainly, any chance you have to take an alley-oop, do it. The easiest ways is doing the... Um, the call method right here where you have to um, call for an off ball screen and throw an alley or on a fast break get a teammate to throw you an alley or on a fast break doing a you know euro so that's literally the method guys the best method literally is to call for an off ball screen take the off ball screen and call for an alley every single time or if you get or if you can do the um the wing method where you just get a teammate to run into you, your opponent that can work too you know what i'm saying but yeah Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Hold up. And let's enjoy these highlights. You know what I'm saying? Because this right here is really, really easy to do, guys. Just trust me. It's really easy to do. You know, that's right right there is what I mean by the um, slip method where you get your opponent. Let's rewind that for a second, okay? Look at that. You see that? I got my him to run into uh, Smith and I, to JR Smith and I wrapped around him, call for a oop. That's another method you can do, but that method is inconsistent. The best method to do is the method where I showed you with the off ball screen. And if you are a guard, and if you can't do the off ball screen method, if you are a guard, do the fast break method, okay? With the oops and the um, euros, floaters, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But thank you guys for watching the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you're new. It's been your boy Tattoo Times or Tattoo X or Daddy T Seth or whatever. Y'all boys and girls want to call me. And I'm out. Y'all boys and girls, stay safe.